number two from Broke in Berkeley. And Broke writes in, I received a letter from a lawyer's office presenting itself as a debt collector. Debt collector. I do not have the money available for the total debt and now they're claiming to sue. What are my rights and can I make payments from Broke in Berkeley? Well, okay, so this would be under our category of financial disputes. Yep. Um, and I don't know the amount of the debt that uh, somebody's trying to collect on, um, but let's just, I'm just gonna be very general for broke in Berkeley. If you're broke, it's kind of hard to collect on somebody who's broke, okay? Um, but depending on the amount, you know, I would never, I would tell people never go it alone uh, to negotiate uh, with, with the help of a good uh, attorney who understands how creditors and banks work. Um, you know, this is the end of the fourth quarter. There's a lot of leverage that people have if they're gonna try and negotiate a transaction um, or negotiate a deal with their creditor on a debt. But there's so many things that are left open, such as how old is this debt? Who is this debt collector? Um, you know, what? what is the, uh, you know, is the account old enough that it can't even be collected upon? Uh, does the debt collector have the right to even pursue this client? There's so many things. So mm -hmm. um, in general, one of the questions that this Broken Berkeley did say at the end was, you know, can I negotiate something? Yes, everything's negotiable, everything. Um, and the way you handle that is you have an attorney like myself pick up the phone and call the creditor and basically say, hey, um, this is what I got. This is the problem. This is the issue. So I, I'm doing one right now. It's, it's, much, it's very significant. It's well close to a million dollars. And on something like that, we're working with the bank. Um, it's on a business transaction. And um, you know, the bank is actually going to consider a 30% haircut, uh, okay. which is huge. Mm -hmm. However, there are certain things that the, my client has to do to be able to get that settlement. And there's certain protocol that people take or, or professionals take when we're trying to negotiate these more significant settlements. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Broken Berkeley's obligation is, but those mechanics in, in negotiating a large transaction are very similar to those that we work with on smaller transactions. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I, one thing I would tell you or whoever's listening, uh, you know, uh, if, if Broke is listening, you know, the, this is a very, unfortunately, it's a very tough time right now. It's a very rough time uh, for people, uh, obviously, with what we're dealing with, right, which is COVID and a lot of layoffs and furloughs. You know, you're going to get a lot of, uh, whoever's listening right now, you're going to, if you're dealing with uh, distressed debt, an issue that you're having problems with, do not run initially to a bankruptcy attorney to file bankruptcy, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one question I was waiting for him to, you know, part of his question, should I file bankruptcy? And um, I would just say, if you're dealing with a debt issue, whether it be a mortgage, car loan, uh, just credit card debt, right now you can negotiate certain forbearances with creditors. So if you're watching and you're, you're having issues, do not do it on your own. Pick up the phone and call uh, an attorney who, who deals with these issues. I don't do bankruptcy, but I do deal with what we call uh, bankruptcy alternatives. And okay. um, a lot of times people, the last one I have, uh, actually this guy who I, I just finished probably, probably two weeks ago, uh, he got this collection account that he's been dealing with for years. And it turns out it's not the same person. He's been saying for, for quite a long time, this is not me, this is not me. And um, uh, we got that taken care of. We got it resolved with the lender. You know, I think last week we, or two weeks ago, no, last week we had one where a guy was being sued twice uh, for an account he had already settled. I think that was yes, last week. Yep, yep it was just so last there's week. so many different mm -hmm. things. So many, mm -hmm. you know, it's not really an answer to that guy's question completely, but we don't know that much about him. So in general, broke in Berkeley, don't rush to, you know, call your creditor, pick up the phone, call an attorney like myself, mm -hmm. and see what we can do to help you. Okay. So when he asks in that question, what are his rights? because the yeah. debt collector is claiming to sue, yeah. basically his right is you have the right to challenge it. 
You're well, you have 30 days, to right. You attorney, have a 30, right? Yeah, you have a 30 day period to challenge uh, the okay. debt, um, to dispute the debt for verification purposes. But when you say, what are your rights? It is a very general question, but under yeah. federal law, you know, which, what rights are we talking about? The Fair <clears throat> Debt Collection pra uh, pr Practice Act or the Fair Credit Reporting Act? I mean, there's so many different uh, consumer protection uh, laws and codes that are out there for uh, consumers. Um, also, you know, Michigan has its own, each state has their own Consumer Protection Act. Here's the thing. This gentleman, Broken Berkeley, didn't tell me if it's uh, related to a business debt or a consumer debt, but only consumer debt's protected by these federal laws. Mm -hmm. Business debt is not. Okay. Okay. That's a whole different animal, and mm -hmm. we deal with that as well. So it's a great question. Uh, thanks, Blair. All thanks, right. Thanks, bro. I hope everything goes better for you. Yes. Bro. Thank oh. you, Broken Berkeley. Broken Berkeley.